How soon uh, can you get the, your 3,000 set? I know you're a little away from it, but you're certainly you're going to take a good beat on it, I think, next year, won't you? Well, uh, you never know. I, I, uh, if I'm alive, like I said before, you never know because God tells you how long you're going to be here. So you never know what can happen tomorrow. I would say that if everything goes well, I should get it before the All-Star game next year. Pittsburgh Pirates outfielder Roberto Clemente headed up relief efforts in his native Puerto Rico for victims of the Nicaraguan earthquake. Late last night, he was killed from a cargo plane that he was aboard, crashed shortly after takeoff from San Juan. It's almost showtime, DC7. I'm here with the producer, Mr. Manuel Morang. Mr. Morang, pleasure. pleasure to meet you. I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to even watch the sound check, man, of this special play. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. We're very excited about this production. I'm very happy that people are really loving it. I'm here with the writer and director of DC7, Mr. Luis Caballero. Mr. Caballero, Hola, it's a pleasure. Thank it's you so pleasure. much, man. Thank you guys. Um, Thank you guys. The first question, um, what, were some of the, what were the key character traits in Modesto that made him an ideal candidate for the role as Roberto Clemente? Well, basically, uh, when you create, when you write this character based on somebody who really was a lie and exist, uh, you're looking for um, an actor with range. Uh, you look for somebody who can really, really portray uh, the image and the character of Roberto Clemente. And Modesto, besides that he's an amazing actor, which I had the pleasure to work with him before, uh, he looked like Clemente. And that's, this was uh, Modesto's dream also. So when it came to, to discuss with the producer, the first show, it was Modesto. We knew that he had the capacity to go and work very hard for this character. Was it very important that the role of Roberto Clemente be a Latino? Definitely. Um, the, not only a Latino, we believe that it should be a Puerto Rican. Very important um, because, you know, Roberto loved his country, loved his people, and we want, you know, obviously the majority of our audience right now, even though this show is for everyone, it, ha it has been a Puerto Rican community. And we want somebody to portray that tremendously. Lorraine, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you so much. Um, playing the role of Vera, um, how, did, how did you prepare for the role? Um, well, I researched a lot of the things through the internet. I used a lot of things in the internet. I read books and I actually spoke to Vera herself, who was absolutely lovely and uh, a great lady, actually. So um, I did a lot of the, the normal researching, but she was kind of the icing on the cake, I feel. What was Vera's thoughts when she heard that there was going to be a, pro a production based on her husband? I think she was interested and honored. Um, but I, I think she was a bit surprised that I really wanted to know her story, because most people want to know about Roberto. Well, can you tell, tell us about Vera? We're definitely interested in her story. Tell us a little bit about Vera. Um, I can tell you some interesting things that she told me, which number one was that when she first met him, she couldn't even look him in the eye. She was so struck and so nervous, she, she couldn't actually look at him. Lorraine, um, for you, what are some of the added pressures or responsibilities playing someone that is alive today? You have to get it right because somebody could come after you, you know? Gemini Key's in the pen with the star of DC7, playing the role of the legendary, the great one, Roberto Clemente. I'm here with Modesto Lasseng. Mr. Lasseng. How are you, man? Oh, I'm doing great, man. It's an honor to watch this play. And you know, just, just watching you in rehearsals gave me goosebumps, brother. So I'm really looking forward to the, to the lights, the camera, the yeah. action. What challenges did you face in preparation for the role of Roberto Clemente? Well, a uh, few challenges. Uh, first of all, I had to lose some weight because he was in a great shape. So I, yeah, you had to do your own version of spring training, huh? Yes. Uh, I've lost around 15, 17 pounds for the role. Uh, and um, I've read a lot of books. Uh, I went to Pittsburgh twice. I spent some time with his family, with Doña Vera, um, his widow, and the sons, the two older sons, and some of his teammates from uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates from 1971. But the most challenging, I would say, it's like getting his voice. Because Roberto had a very particular voice in English and Spanish. And I want to be as close to him as possible. So I've been hearing, uh, every night I hear him talking um, to just to, to get that in my body, in my memory, so I can portray it in a fresh and, and uh, uh, 
truthful way every night. Uh, but a lot of ch a lot of challenges because Roberto was so intense, and in, in all of he did in you know as a baseball player and as a human being that for me I have to really jump in, jump jump in and do all of it as intense as he was. Which side do you identify with the oh, most? Yeah. The celebrity ball player side or the humanitarian side? No, definitely the humanitarian. I share a lot of uh, things with Roberto. I was raised also in Loisa, which is a town in Puerto Rico where the majority of people are black. I was raised also in the Baptist Church. My parents have the same mentality of Roberto doing, uh, you know, black people trying to overcome prejudice and racism in Puerto Rico and doing that by action, not by talking, but by doing things the right way. Um, well, Nesto, what lessons did you learn from the great one? <sighs> that you have to give it all. Um, one of his quotes, it's, uh, if you're here on earth and you're not doing, you're not helping others, you're wasting your time on earth. And also one of his other quotes was, if I want to be remembered as, so, as somebody who gave all that he can give. And for me, it was, you know, it touched my heart because as an actor, I have to give it all. I have to really invest all of my skills and my body and everything into the role. So uh, doing the research about Roberto, I think he has helped me to be a more focused actor, even more intense and more um, bold, if you might say so. Uh, but very, also very um, aware of, of your time here on Earth. You don't, don't waste time, just do what you love, go for it and be aware of, of people and helping others and, and be aware of, 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 your, of where you come from. He was very aware of uh, his upbringing, so a lot of that. He's ha he has taught me a lot of things. <laughs> what do you think is most important that we remember about Clemente and the legacy that he left behind? Well, I think Clemente, he has such a lot of lessons. I think... Uh, patriotism, I think he was a real patriot. Uh, he was so proud of being Puerto Rican without any political or any things attached to it uh, that it's an example for everybody, not just for Puerto Ricans, for everybody to really uh, be aware that when you're doing something, you're representing your country, your people, so do the best you can. Um, also, I think the fact that he was so uh, you know, he, he was so concerned about what we can do to help community, to help, to, to help the world, to heal the world in a sense. So I think uh, I, we have to remember that, that we have the power to change in our community, in our family, you know, be the change you want to be. I think that's one of, you know, something that people can come out of seeing the show, that we have... We have the power as people, as individuals, to change the world. So uh, his story is just very inspiring. But I think those two things are, for me, are very important. To just be aware that you have the power and also be proud of where you come from and, and represent. You're representing your people, your country, every time you do something. Modesto, do you think that you were born to play the role of Roberto Clemente? Yeah. Brother. Thank you so much. Your thoughts on the play? What are your thoughts on the, on, on the life of the great Roberto Clemente? I was thrown back. I was I was in awe. I mean, uh, the, the performance was outrageous. It was uh, tremendous. I mean, it, it, it pinpointed every aspect of his life, and it, I, I wish it was longer. I just wish it was longer. It was a, 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 a very bad loss for us, but. This play was just brought everything out about who he was and, 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 and who he still is. It's a lot of people still recognize him as, as a great hero, especially in the island of Puerto Rico. You know, we should be proud. And his number, number 21, should be retired from baseball. I don't know what Major League is waiting for, but they need to retire that number. I thought it was an excellent performance. I think all the actors, the actresses were uh, genuinely into the, the life of Roberto. Um, that's what the play um, demonstrated. It, it uh, certainly uh, referenced his talents as a ball player, but I think uh, on a higher level, what he did as a humanitarian, and uh, interesting to know that he is, um, his name is on so many awards and so many buildings, which means that um, his, his life uh, continues. Great performance, all the people leaving the theater, nothing but great things. Excellent. What do you want to say to the people that have come and watched the show? 
Well, please come if you haven't seen it. The people who saw it, thank you so much for being here with us. We're doing this, like I said before, with a lot of love and dignity. And we just want people to see it and many, many people to see the show. And so hopefully we'll be able to stand it and to, to bring it to other, pla other places because it's a beautiful story and we, that we need to tell. Absolutely.